Good morning, YouTube fans. This is G-Man 1 coming at you with a review of the full proportion high-speed monster truck. 2.4 gigahertz. Tough, strong, 42 plus miles an hour truck. Here's the truck. I already had it out and playing with it, so here's the controller. Nice skinny controller, fits well in your hands. Here's the on and off switch. There's another controller where you can put the steering wheel on this side for a left hander or a right hander. Here's uh, this is where you put the two AA batteries. This is a, the knob for the the right and left to keep it straight. So yeah, that's the controller. Simple. And here's the truck. Got some nice decals on it. There's three different colors. There's a blue. I got the red. There's a green one with a different body style. Low cut. This is nice. It's got some nice decals. You can actually put some LED lights right in there. Nice tires, nice big tires, 15 inch tires. I think you can get 16s also. This is the inside body part. This is the back of it. They're not, these uh, springs are not oiled, so you could do modifications on it and probably put some oil springs on it. These right here are plastic, so if you hit something, they might attempt to break, but they feel a little bit thick, but the car handles. It's a two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, so it does spin out a lot. Here's the front, again, plastic, but, I mean, you can drop it, it is rough, but it handles, you know, like I said, it's a, two, it's a rear wheel drive, so it does spin out a lot, but, you know, it's a great little truck, it's fast. I did some modifications to it, as you see right here, this was an enclosed body, um, but you would, every time you would have to turn on the car, you would have to take this off to get to the on and off switch that was down here. Here's the little antenna and the batteries to charge it. You would have to take this off to charge the batteries. So what I did was I just made a slot here so I can get from underneath the car to turn it on and just plug it in from underneath the car. It's a 800 uh, lithium battery. So does does you know does uh, take some time to charge, but here's the the motor in housing the plastic. It's the bottom of the car, sleek. So all in all, like I said, the car is fast. It does spin out a lot because it is a rear wheel drive. But all in all, for the price on Amazon. I got this car to chase some geese away um, at work. I work at a school and the, the geese is always always around. So I bought the car to chase them away. It does a good job, um, you know, not to hurt the geese, but just to bump them a little bit and just scare them away. Um, again, the car is fast. It does spin out a lot, but it has, you know, it still has the plastic uh, covering on it. I didn't take it off. But for the price, like I said, on Amazon, can't beat it. I had it, you know, I had it on the grass, I had it on gravel, climbed up a couple of big stones, and it does really well, really well. Here's the box. That's the inside of it. The controller. Here's some of the specs. Like I said, I guess you can you can probably change you can probably change some things to make the truck run better, handle better, which I'll probably look into and, and figure out. Maybe I could put some oil springs on it, you know, change the springs and see if I can maybe change the, the tires to something else. But all in all, for the first for the first uh, truck for any it says ages eight, 
eight plus. So for a little kid starting off, this is one one good truck to have. And for the price, can't beat it. It's real nice, real nice. Well, this is G-Man 1 coming at you with the review. Hope you like it and enjoy. Have a great day.